time. It's time. Alright, it's that time. It is time to check out I The Mask, I believe it is called. 2019 album from In Flames. Because In Flames' new album comes out in a week. I think it's like the 9th or the 10th of February 2023. So that's since that's coming out, let's check out I The Mask to catch up. To get the vibe, so I know going into this new album, kind of where they left off. If you're watching this on Patreon, I appreciate you guys. And uh, for that little intro there, it's because I've already heard that song. And since it's on this album, same with Stay With Me. I, I've already uh, reacted to it like uh, in the past on the channel. I'll, I'll put it on Patreon also so you guys watch it all in order. But I just wanted to jam to the songs I've heard already. I am above... Holy shit, did I forget how good that song is. Like, I remembered, I loved it, and I was like, that's a good song, it's on my playlist. But it's not until you hear it again, where you're like, god damn, that chorus is an absolute banger. It's a bomb, it's fantastic. That's a fantastic one. Maybe, that shit, I, it changes a lot, but maybe my favorite, probably, actually, my favorite In Flames song. I like Cloud Connected, I like their, uh, the, the last two singles off the new album, Foregone, but damn, I like I Am Above. Holy shit. It's just a chorus, the way it starts. Fucking love it. Let's check this out. Hit like. If you're watching this on YouTube, you should have checked it on, on Patreon probably about six months ago. I probably look drastically different. I guarantee the hair isn't pink anymore. <laughs> Let's check this out. In Flames Voices. Let's do this. Let's go. I'm excited, man. Kind of using like a kick pad here for the, the beat. It's kind of electronic. Okay.
They starting this album off pretty damn hot. At first, I was like, okay. I like they're starting it off with uh, a fast pace and kind of a, more of a sound of some of their older stuff. The cadence of the singer. But then the chorus hit. And it gave me that modern In Flames vibe that I'm fucking digging right now. And I need, I want more and more of on the new album. Ho- hopefully this album just keeps going like this because this will be the third song I've heard so far. And I'm liking it, man. I'm liking it. I like this vibe. They're cooking. Oh, right when I say that. I'm getting a solo early in the album. Play with it. That was awesome, man. That could have easily been a single. Easily could have been a single. Oh, God. An official lyric video, I don't, I don't know if that counts as a single, but this easily could have been. That's a fucking good way to start an album. It has everything you want. Anything you want in a In Flames song. You got the fast-paced, rough vocals, harsh vocals that he just kills now. Like, he's his voice sounds so much different than the Clayman era. Like, you can tell it's the same guy, but if someone told you they replaced him and it's a new guy, you wouldn't be absolutely shocked. I know it's the same guy, but I'm just saying, if someone told me it's a different guy, I wouldn't be stunned. Because it's a drastic sound difference. He really has, like, just nailed where his voice needs to be. He's, he's found a comfort spot in the harshes and damn sure in the fucking cleans. That's the best thing I'm loving about this newer version of In Flames. Or at least newer to me. The more modern In Flames is he has mastered when to use and how to use his clean vocals. Where it's not overdoing it to where it comes off kind of like too soft. Like you're trying to be commercial. No, it just makes a good fucking song. Mixes it so well. And I love here how at the, the final little piece of the chorus here. He sang what was a uh, a moment where he used the cleans for the whole song. He used the harsh vocals just for that, just for the finale. Again, if you switch up one of the choruses at the end, it raises the replay value through the fucking roof. Voices, that's a good start. That's a good start. Can they keep it up? That's one song. We have, what, like a dozen more to go? How many songs are on this album? I think there might be a bonus track, too. Hold on. What the the hell's my phone doing? My phone's always doing some bullshit. Okay, here we go. It's all the porn. That's probably what it is. (laughs) Uh, Voices. I, I, the mask. Twelve. Twelve songs. We've now heard voices. I'm above is... Nine and a half out of ten, maybe, of, of a song. It's a fantastic song. And Stay With Me, which is kind of like their ballad. And I always say, if you want to give me a perfect album from somebody, you kind of have to have one ballad. And they got it. And they already got it with uh, this final song of the album, Stay With Me. Because you kind of got to be able to give me a change of pace somewhere 
You know what I mean? Like a, a, some water. That, that That's the water song. But voices, hell of a fucking start. On to I the Mask. Which is obviously what the album is named after. So usually those are bangers from bands. Normally you don't name your album after a song that's a weaker song on the album. So I'm excited for that. Hit like if you're watching this on YouTube. If you're watching on Patreon, I appreciate you. A real one.